What's the best way to make your Fiat 124 Spider last longer and run better? Just change the oil every 3,000 miles. So you'll need a new oil filter. You'll need four quarts of motor oil. You're going to need two separate wrenches. One is an oil filter wrench so you can take the old filter off. And you're going to want a drain plug wrench so that you can drain the oil out of the sump. This is a 12 millimeter Allen wrench. Now some Fiat's have had their drain plugs updated and uh, we're going to be using this ratchet and socket on the updated drain plug that we have now. You're going to want a funnel, some sort of uh, protective gloves. I'm using food service gloves that cost about a penny a piece. Those are adequate just to keep your hands clean. You're also going to want uh, some kind of a rag or paper towels to help you with a little cleanup. You might want a felt tip marker if we're going to write down some of the data involved. And this is a neat trick that will uh, help you a little later on, which is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet so that you can snug down the bolts on the oil sump pan. We'll show you how to do that in a little while. You'll need to lift the car with a jack. I'm using a hydraulic floor jack, but you could use the scissors jack that originally came with the car. Use metal jack stands rated at least a ton and a half to hold the car while it's in the air. Never use cinder blocks or bricks or anything that you're going to have to stack. This is important. Don't just let the oil drain out onto the ground. Get an oil drain pan that holds at least five quarts. You'll be able to use it later when you take the oil for recycling. Okay, now we're ready to raise the car. So set the parking brake and put the jack right under the center of the car, all the way back until it's underneath the front axle. Be sure to put a wooden block between the axle and the jack as you lift the car. Keep raising the car until it's about a foot off the ground. Now that'll give us plenty of room for us to set our jack stands in place. Set the jack stands with the release lever facing forward so that we can get at them later on. And put them all the way out on the end of the axle right where the lower control arm meets it. Once our jack stands are solidly in place, we can lower the car onto them and then pull the jack out of the way. Place the oil drain pan towards the back of the motor because that's where the drain plug really is. If the engine had been running recently, the oil will be extremely hot. This is very dangerous. Don't burn your hands on it. Once you loosen the drain plug with a wrench, don't get any on your hands. Serious burns can result. Also, let the oil drain for at least 20 minutes to a half hour to be sure you get all of it out. Use the time that the oil is draining to clean the grit and grime out of the threads on the drain plug. Now is the time to use the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to snug up those bolts that hold the oil pan to the engine. They always seem to work their way loose and they're a major source of oil leaks. Once all the old oil is drained out, it's time to put the drain plug back in. Use your paper towel to clean the threads and then start it by hand just finger tight before you put the wrench on it. Once you do use the wrench, don't apply too much force. Just get it snug down tight. Too much force and you'll strip those delicate threads. Now it's time to remove the old oil filter. Use your oil filter strap wrench just to break it loose and once it spins freely, Put a plastic bag around it to catch some of the oil that's left in it. This way you won't drip any on your hands or on the ground. Remember that the oil in the filter is still very hot. Once you have the filter down, keep it upright until you can pour the contents into your oil drain pan. Now we're ready to put the new oil filter on and we're going to start by using our felt tip marker to write today's date and the mileage on it. This will help us with our service interval records.
Now, when we put our new oil filter on, we want to make sure that it makes a good seal. And the best way to do that is to put some fresh motor oil on the rubber gasket attached to the filter housing. Just put some on your finger and rub it around, and as you do that, tilt it in the light, and you'll see that there's all kind of glossy oil on it, and there's no flat, dry spots. Okay, now we're ready to put our new oil filter on. Spin it on by hand, being careful not to cross-thread it, and once it's snug, just turn it another three-quarters of a turn. There's no need to use the wrench on it. We're halfway there. The old oil and filter are done, so let's get the oil drain pan out of the way. With the new oil filter installed, it's time to add new oil. Be sure to use a funnel to avoid spills. Now at the back of your owner's manual, there's a chart that shows the appropriate oil grade to use for the season you'll be driving in. We're going to be using a 20W50 oil because it's going to be hot weather between now and the next time we do an oil change. It's time to lower the car, so put the jack back underneath and raise it up just enough to take the weight off the jack stands. Then pull the release lever and make sure that you pull the jack stands all the way out from under the car. Look twice to make sure that there's no tools or equipment that are going to be trapped under the wheels of the cars, and then it's time to just lower it down. Now we're almost done. Be sure to take the old motor oil and pour it into an appropriate container to take to a recycling center where they can dispose of it properly. Never pour the motor oil out on the ground or down a drain. Now it's time to start her up and check for leaks. If you've been working indoors, push the car outside and never start it inside your garage or your library. Put the transmission in neutral and set your parking brake. Start the engine and let the oil pressure light go out and the gauge start to rise before you look underneath for drips or leaks. Now is the time to clean up all of your tools and put them away properly. If you're keeping maintenance records, now is the time to update them. Fill in all the information, the date and the mileage, and calculate your savings. Take good care of your Fiat 124 Spider. They'll last a long time. They're a lot of fun, and they're way better than walking. <laughs>